Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to get more use and versatility out of a tow dolly. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, what's up? It's another weekend, Saturday, a wonderful 50 degree day we're out here and uh nice and messy and rainy and wet but this is my kind of weather anyway this what you're looking at right now is an ultra tow dolly uh, from northern tool uh, this dolly is rated at 2800 to 3000 pounds um, plate carrying capacity that's actually the wheels on the trays strapped down that's the weight capacity um, this is basically what you're gonna get when you go to U-Haul and rent a tow dolly. This is pretty much it. Um, they, uh, same parts uh, made from Car Caddy, uh, a lot of other dolly companies, uh, but I, Ultra Tow has been in the market for quite a while. And Northern Two was awesome. Uh, go on the website. I'm not being paid by Northern Two. I get a lot of stuff from Northern Two. Northern Two is awesome. Um, but what I'm gonna show you today is, um, for example, if you have a dolly and you have to go get a vehicle and it's a down vehicle that doesn't run on its own power, that is an issue uh, to have when you um, gonna go use this thing. There's an easy solution. Um, a lot of dollies uh, have this option. This one in particular uh, didn't have the option um, already on it. So today I'm gonna correct that. This is a 3,500 pound um, manual crank winch. Um, this winch is solid steel, steel cable, heavy duty, um, can be had uh, for about 50 to $70 if you go on Amazon. And it basically is what you have on a trailer, a boat trailer. Um, but it's solid steel construction. Um, came with, oh, there you go. Um, nice grade eight bolts right there. Uh, came with two of them. Um, came with two cranks. Got, got a spare crank, just in case you need an extra crank. Um, pretty simple install. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have to run all the cable out. And I got to mark my holes here on the tongue of the dolly and we're going to install it um, about uh, six to eight inches away from the footrest right there on the ground um, gonna get it marked up here and drill my holes and i'll be right back okay guys here's the mock-up we're at about eight and a half inches away from the uh, footrest and we've got all the cable pulled out that way we can uh, get access to the bolt holes and so we can drill and make the holes all right I'll be right back okay guys fun fact when's the last time you've seen a black and decker label like that there's a 70 7204 type one um, this drill is at least 45 years old um, <laughs> Still kicking. That's what I use to make these holes. Uh, they're in the in the tongue right here. All right. Let's see what they look like. All right. Looks like we're right on the money. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna get the hardware, get it bolted down, and try it out. All right. Right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, we got it all bolted up. Got the nuts in. And it is sturdy. It is it has become a part of the dolly. It is one with the dolly now. Um, I use instead of using the same washers like I did here on top, I used um, about a quarter inch thick of uh, round cutout scrap 
from a machine press. It had a 3X hole in the middle. It's a lot larger than the washers and it comes to give it more something to grab onto on the bottom of here. Um, just trying to think forward. Uh, make sure it's it's gonna be there. It's gonna be sturdy. Um, I gave you some specs earlier about the wet capacities. Um, you're probably saying, well, you know, most cars, you know, well, most cars weigh more than 3,500 pounds. This is where this winch comes in. You're not lifting 3,500 pounds. You're pulling. Um, so if your car weighs. I don't know what hell scourge. Scourge weighs 8,000 pounds. Okay, I'm pulling scourge, so I'm gonna be using 35,000 pounds of pulling, not lifting, pulling. So I can use this winch to pull scourge, which scourge is too wide to go in here. But anyway, that's a regular Super Duty 2500 Chevrolet Jeep uh, Delta 88. Cadillac, DeVille, whatever, big cars. You can pull those cars on the dolly. Like I say, you're not picking them up, you're pulling them, you're rolling them. Um, not a lot of people get confused when they look for winches and especially this type of winch or the hand crank winch. Um, but yeah, that, that's that's what that means. And as far as the dolly goes, 2,800, 3,000 pounds, that's, like I said earlier, the tire and engine weight sitting on the dolly not the entire car because you, you have to have a trailer for that not <laughs> the dolly um those front tires or rear tires how are you going to pull it that's what that means all right guys gonna get the crank installed and gonna see what it does okay guys there it is that's all working Got a metal plate back there just to put some tension on the cable um, while I'm rolling it back up. But yeah, man, so far so good. Um, I want to get this thing out and get a car hooked to it and see how it does. All right, YouTube, that's it for today. Gonna go in the house and play Call of Duty. What do you think, PJ? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man, that's it, man. You too. Have a good weekend. It's Magnus. I'm out. Peace. The storm, make it bright like the sun shine. Words paint pitch from past tense to future time. In peace time, I'm still out here on my grind. Cups so cold, they think that it's winter time. Tries in my lifetime, still Magnus Prime. Uh.